Just released today was a new Facebook watch series called The Birch. Now, this is a series that is based on the short from Crypt TV of the same name. And it is something I watched and reviewed on my podcast probably six months ago or something. And I thought it was pretty cool. The creature effects in it were very... Uh, well done and and i never thought to myself like wow i'd like to see that expanded upon and made into a tv series but when it was announced that it was happening and that it was coming out soon which i only found out about this a few months ago i was you know interested now facebook watch is a an extension of facebook essentially it's just a you know original programming you find it at the bottom of the facebook app if you have it on your phone i don't know where it would be on the computer because i actually watched this on my phone now do you need anything extra to watch these no you do not if you have a facebook account you have direct access to facebook watch original programming which they have a good amount of original programming one of those being sorry for your loss starring elizabeth olsen from the MCU, you know, Scarlet Witch and whatnot. She has obviously been in plenty of others in horror herself with Silent House, which is her first movie. And yes, she's an Olsen sister, um, but not one of the twins, obviously. Uh, they also have another show coming out here, I think next month or later this month with Jessica Biel called uh, Limetown. That looks to be interesting. Pretty, you know, pretty decent budget stuff. It looks uh, like a normal television series would. Now, as far as this show goes, uh, they released three episodes today. Now, I don't know what their release schedule will be like. You know, I don't see any information on that. As I saw on IMDb, there are 15 episodes listed, but I would take that with a grain of salt because originally it said there'd be uh, 13 episodes of the new Creep Show series. I've heard six, and now IMDb has it listed at seven. I'm going to go with six because that's what I keep hearing from most people. So I don't know if this show will actually be 15 episodes or not, but as it sits right now, there's definitely three, and I don't know how they'll release if they are doing three at once, and if so, will it be over the next five weeks? We get three episodes at a time. Now, the episodes run at different lengths. I think the first one was around like 15 minutes. The next one was like down to 11, and then I think the one after that was up to like 18, so it kind of seems to be sporadic as far as what the time frame of it is. But essentially what the story is about is there's a young girl, she's uh, supposed to be in high school, and she, the only reason I say supposed to is because usually when it comes to shows like this, they cast somebody who's, you know, a decent amount older than that, but she's, her, her character is high school age, and uh, she has just recently lost her mom to drugs. Um, and she witnesses something that she's not supposed to, and her life is threatened if she is to tell. Um, while she was out, though, she was trying to talk to her mother. I don't know if this was through witchcraft or if this was just through some belief she has. I don't know, but she finds a stick figure that kind of looks like something out of Blair Witch, and through that, she summons the birch, which is this creature with uh, these long freaking uh, tentacle, or not tentacle, uh, what would I say here? Like horns, sorry, um, that are made out of branches. It's a really cool design for the creature, and it looks exactly like the one in the original short. So if you look up the original short, which was called the birch, you'll see a picture of the monster instantly. It is identically the same. So they did stick with the same creature. Now I do not remember this short much because I watched it six months ago. It was only like four minutes long. So I was watching a lot of shorts around that time. So they kind of blend together to be honest. As far as this show goes, so far it's, it's fine. I, I'm looking forward to checking out the rest of it to see if it goes up or down from here. But as it sits right now, the three episodes that we got are, you know, they're pretty standard fare. 
essentially the first one is just setup. I mean, how much can you do in 15 minutes? Not a whole lot. So we get introduced to our character here. She witnesses what she witnesses. She does her thing and it ends. I mean, it's very, very quick. The next episode is, takes a completely different turn with a different time period, whatnot. At least that's the way I gauged it. And then the third one, um, yet again, it's, it's just kind of like, it's laying things out a little bit, but nothing is all that super interesting as it sits right now. And it does feel a little cookie cutter generic as it goes, because I'm essentially figuring this to be like a pumpkin head, you know, a revenge demon of sorts. And so right now we are just kind of going through the motions of getting the show started. Essentially, if you were to put the three episodes together, they'd equal the same amount of time as a normal pilot at like 45 minutes. So as a first episode, if that's the way we want to put these together, um, it's okay. It's nothing to run to, but at the same time, I look forward to seeing where this uh, this goes. I think the acting is all good. I think the sh the production value is is fine. It definitely seems smaller scale. Uh, you can feel it while watching it. There's only a very limited amount of characters, and um, except for when I guess she goes to the school, but those are just extras in the background for a moment. But outside of that, it's it's very you know closed sets, couple people kind of thing. But it does look well shot. It's not that this is some ultra low budget thing. Facebook has put some money into these shows. From the clips I've seen from the other shows, whether it be Sorry for Your Loss or Limetown, they both look really high production value. And bringing in big name talent like Jessica Biel and Elizabeth Olsen, they're obviously putting some money down. Now, how they make money off this, I do not know because there are no ads that run during it and you don't have to have any Facebook premium or, you know, added on special service to get it. So it's surprising to me um, that there is no extra charge, that there is no previews, that there is no nothing. Uh, but overall, I mean, I would say it's probably more aimed at teenagers. That's what my feeling was on it. It's a TV 14 and it feels it. You know, there's nothing that's happened almost horror at all so far. Very little, some, but very little. And so who I, would, who I would recommend this to would be teenagers who are looking for, you know, a new little show to watch that isn't too scary um, so far. I don't know where it's going to go from here, but I have a feeling, it, you know, it kind of feels like maybe like a CW type show or even a Sabrina, you know, the adventures, the uh, Netflix series. Um, so somewhere in that age range. Uh, so if that's not your thing. I wouldn't check it out. But just so you know, there is a new series on Facebook Watch. As I said, it's just on your Facebook. Go look through their shows. You'll find it if you type it in. The Birch on Facebook Watch. Let me know if you check it out. I'll keep you up to date. I don't know, you know, where it's going to go as far as release date goes. I would assume. Uh, I'm going to guess three episodes a week for five weeks. I don't know why. I know the other shows are one episode at a time from what I've seen. I don't know. It, it, all three at once. I mean, with a 12 to 15 minute episode, only releasing one a week seems really cheap. And it's like, that's not really worth waiting for. If I got an 11 minute episode having waited a week for it, I would lose interest pretty quick. So that's why I'm assuming that they're going to go three. Because I would feel like the Elizabeth Olsen show... I want to say is like 25 minutes a piece. So that's like a standard 30 minute show, you know, of course, uh, making room for commercials. But once the commercials have been taken out, it's about 25 minutes. So that show is about at right length. But this one with having an episode that's only 11 minutes long, I'm like, no way. They can't. No way. So we'll see. But you guys going to check it out? Let me know if you do. Adios.